Hello and welcome to today's second news report for February 21st. In my morning show, I talked about what's going on with President Biden and his need to rapidly move in a different direction in order to help the American people protect the U.S. dollar and keep the U.S. economy healthy. I also talked about the Build Back Better bill and how it's morphing now that top past Democrat leaders are starting to weigh in and give suggestions to President Biden. I also touched on the conflict between the United States, Russia, and Ukraine, and much, much more. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, do go watch that because it has some very important information. I will go ahead and put a link right here, also in the pinned comment and also at the end of this video. Now, in today's video, I want to go over some money stuff and some economic news that I think could help you out over the coming years. Uh, but first, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Element Nutritional Science. So a lot is going on in the world uh, as the world starts to reopen. Nearly every country in the world had to issue something like a stimulus package in order to help their citizens manage the lockdowns and lost jobs. Uh, but the consequence of it all has been a U.S. dollar that buys less goods thanks to high inflation. So how do you simultaneously survive the current times while at the, the same time preparing for retirement by saving and investing money? Well, the first step is getting your budget under control. Uh, I know that the majority of you that watch me in the community are working full time. So the first thing is to make sure that you're properly managing your incoming cash flow. That's step number one. Two, you have to have a plan in place for saving money and investing money. Uh, saving is really, really important because what you do matters for most of your life. And that's the effort that you bring to saving money. Uh, because in the future, you're going to have emergencies or things that come up that you're going to need to tap into that money. However, you cannot save your way to wealth. At some point, you must begin to invest in companies and others' efforts uh, in order to ensure that your dollar keeps up with inflation. For example, if inflation is at 7% and a bank is paying you 0.1%, your money might be safe, but it's safely losing buying power and that's why you have to figure out how to become an investor. So I want to talk about that. Now, I don't know your personal situation, but I can just tell you that saving at least 10% or more of your income is crucial for building wealth. Uh, once you've overcome that threshold for having an emergency fund and have your uh, bad debt on some kind of a, a payment plan or a strategy, then at that point, you need to start investing into stable companies or long-term companies that still have a lot of growth potential as they become what is considered a, a stable company. For example, you might want to look into investing in the S&P 500 with money uh, so that you are spread out over the 500 best companies in the United States. Or you might want to pick one or, or two really stable companies like Apple or Microsoft uh, these groups do go up and down, uh, but over time, their stock has trended upward for over a decade. So they're what we call a stable company. Uh, then there are stocks from small cap firms uh, that are up and coming, but already have a solid business model, but you just might not know about them yet. For example, uh, Apple, who I mentioned, used to be a really small company, right? And now they've just grown and they've become a household name. Now, another one that you might want to look into is ticker symbol ELNSF. Uh, they've been in business for many years, but they're new to the U.S. stock exchanges. And I think that they are somebody you're going to want to buy and hold over the next 10 years or so. So they're an up-and-coming nutraceutical company that is already in over 16,000 stores. So you may have seen their brands on the shelves. Now, remember a few months ago, I told you about a different food group that was in a few hundred stores. And then less than 10 days ago, I told you how they were able to leverage their assets and buy a company bigger than themselves and increase their cash flow and their distribution channel into the thousands, and their stock jumped 
by over 50% in just a few days. Well, Element Nutritional Science is somewhat of a similar story, uh, and they have many patents backing their products and uh, an incredible management team, and they're already plugged into 16,000 stores. Okay, so their, their main product is a nutritional protein drink that not only tastes good, but has some incredible documented health benefits. Uh, the drink has incredible health benefits per, for people that are looking to build muscle, recover faster from workouts, and also uh, a fast track recovery for post-surgery, uh, getting your body back up and running after having surgery. The drink is already available at CVS, Walgreen, and Sam's Club, just to name a few uh, household name stores that you might recognize. Uh, as you can imagine, it's more than a full-time job to get into these big brand name stores and to maintain shelf space. A group like Sam's Club, for example, is going to do extensive research before allowing a product onto the floor because if it's not good, it hurts Sam's Club's reputation and they're already in Sam's Club. Well, this drink also competes with Ensure and Boost for adults 50 and older. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Ensure and Boost. They've become household names. Well, this drink has more protein and less sugar than both of these drinks, and it's plant-based, so there's no dairy involved, no animals and no dairy, right? And their patented formula uh, and 25 peer-reviewed research studies is what got the, the attention of these big uh, brand name stores. And now, like I said, they're in 16,000 stores, right? A lot of stores. Now, for me, a company has to have good streams of income, uh, have a great product or product lineup, and they also have to have a great management team or else they're not of much interest to me. Now, the founder and CEO is a man named Stuart Lof uh, L Lothar. Excuse me. Uh, he's famous for starting Life Science Nutritional, growing it into the fastest growing business in his industry or space, and then selling it for $40 million. Stewart was also a sales executive for Jameson Laboratories. He played a key part in taking them from a $320 million valuation to a $1.4 billion valuation. He also helped Iovate Health Science grow to $200 million in sales and they were sold to a larger firm for $1 billion. So lots of experience when it comes to growing a company and then selling it off. And the rest of the management team is, is incredible and robust as well with years and years of experience. For example, uh, the head of sales and new business development was a top person at Coca-Cola for over 20 years. All right, now, uh, what I like is that their, their top product, right? Their flagship product is still growing and grabbing attention in both the fitness and nutritional space. Uh, and they're developing new products right now that can be sold alongside their flagship product. And they, they've already got a relationship with those 16,000 stores. Now, retail, retail food is a competitive space. But the management team at Element Nutritional Science has done an excellent job of growing. Uh, and in fact, according to Yahoo Finance, their year-over-year -year revenue is up over 200%. So why hasn't that reflected in the stock yet? Because they're new to the U.S. stock exchange, right? And that's why I'm telling you about them today. So Element Nutritional Science has two paths forward in my mind. They can continue to grow and get bigger and bigger. Or they're going to get big enough that a bigger company with deeper pockets will buy them up and continue to grow them bigger and bigger. Now, again, the ticker symbol is ELNSF, and you can find them on most trading platforms except for Robinhood. Now, real quick, let me go back to the emergency fund and the bad debt plan. In most cases, you want to have a few months of cash set aside, or at least liquid. Maybe it's liquid in a brokerage account uh, or in some silver or gold or you know under your mattress, whatever it is, you've got a couple of months of bills or at least one to two rent or mortgage payments set aside. 
And regarding bad debt, you can pay it off all at once uh, over time, or you can save money while you have a predictable payment plan. Um, I've created plans both ways for my private coaching clients. Uh, some want to see every extra dollar they have driving down that debt reduction, while others say, hey, this five-year plan or three-year plan, I don't want to get to the end of that and I'm out of debt, but I have no assets and I have no cash. And so we set up a, a, a two-pronged approach to building wealth while having a systematic and predictable way of getting out of debt, right? And it's something that we've agreed upon uh, ahead of time. Now, I know many of you have enjoyed learning about these smaller companies that I've brought to your attention. So I wanted to share this information with you today about uh, Element Nutritional Science. Uh, but make sure to do your own research before the, the markets open up again tomorrow. And in the near future, I'm going to do a video about one of my favorite tax credit strategies for not only building uh, money up in an asset that every one of you will need in the future, but it also helps you legally avoid taxes on the front end and the back end. So I'm excited to share that information with you uh, as well. Now, I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please give it a like. Otherwise, stay amazing, and I'll see you on the next video.